Hello and welcome to episode 115 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is, you're either growing or you're dying. Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Now, guys, I wanted to put this podcast episode together for you because I've actually figured out why most trainers fail. And I know this sounds really negative. I know this sounds like, you know, you know you're killing, crushing my hopes, dreams, and desires. And look, I, I'm really putting this show together because I want to give you clear and, and non-fluffy instructions. I don't want to give you airy, fairy stuff. I want to tell you what it really takes to succeed. And I know that for a lot of personal trainers out there, they're going to struggle growing their business because they're focusing on the wrong things. What I mean by this is you are your greatest asset, okay? You have limited time, you have limited energy. In order for you to understand and grow your business and scale it to the next level, you need to understand that your energy is limited and the biggest struggle and the biggest, biggest struggle as an entrepreneur, as a fitness entrepreneur wanting to grow a business is that there will be times inside of your business where you're going to face adversity. You're going to face ups and downs. One day, you're going to feel fantastic. Another day, you're going to feel completely crap. And this is just the life cycle. This is the norm. And in order for you to understand and get through this, you need to understand that you've got two of the most precious resources at this very moment in time. You've got your time. You've got your energy, which then your energy controls your mindset. So that being said, why I'm telling you you're either growing or you're dying is because I've seen why so many trainers fail. And I, I see this because they focus on the wrong things. That is, they're focusing on the minute stuff. You're blowing a lot of energy on your Facebook ads when they're not working to, to how you think they're supposed to work. But then as soon as they start working, all that disappears. But what you need to understand is the emotional turmoil you're putting your body under the emotional stress, and understand that success is going to be a long game. And for me, I didn't understand this for a long period of time. I didn't understand that my energy and my time was my most valuable asset because they dictated my mindset. They dictated how I would feel on a day-to-day basis. I thought, I thought, I mistakenly put money first. And I thought that if I made enough money, everything would fall into place. And I know if you're starting out and you're struggling to get a few clients, that can be hard to hear because all you're like, you might be saying, yeah, Berlin, that's good for you. You're there. I'm here. I'm stuck. I'm dying. What I need you to understand at this very moment in time is you need to understand the four pillars of your business. You need to understand that for every startup, cash flow is king. Do you have a way right at this very moment in time? Can you post a status telling people that you've opened a pilot testing program, that it's a 16-week program, and that you're going to sponsor 90% of the program fees for them? They're going to come in and they're going to pay $400. You take 10 people on, you've got cash flow. Now you got four grand. Now the problem is this is this almost becomes almost like a chess game because it's like now you've got four grand. What do you do with that four grand? Well, if you're like most personal trainers, you're gonna spend that four grand on things not to grow your business. That was me. That was me for a long time. I'd go out and buy things, I'd go out and have dinner, drinks, buy new watches, yada da, things that I didn't need. And I still do. But at this very moment in time, I think strategically and I go, okay, well, if I've got four grand now. What's the next piece of this chess puzzle that I should be investing in that's going to help turn this four grand into eight grand? And then once you start thinking like this and once you start turning on your problem solving capabilities and present solutions to problems, for example, people are fat, they need your help. How can you help more people? And it's not about running four grand worth of Facebook ads. Start asking yourself the right questions because remember, if you run four grand of Facebook ads and you get 500 leads and you have to call every single person up to make 20 sales, you are burning through the most valuable asset, which is your time and your energy. And when you do this, what happens is you're going to burn out. So you burn out the machine, you burn out the money making machine, right? Because you foolishly focus on the tactics and you don't focus on what's really important. And how you avoid this situation why I'm going to go in deep. How you avoid this situation is by asking the right questions. There are a lot of stupid questions I answer inside the online trainers club sometimes. They're very, very depressing. Then I can see the outcome of how people's lives, uh, I can see the outcome of the way people live their lives based on the questions they ask. And this isn't judgment, this is just an observation. So Tony Robbins, my mentor, always says, quality of the questions will dictate the quality of your life. 
So if you suddenly don't ask any questions with that $4,000 you just made and you go out and put it into Facebook ads and then you get 500 leads and you call up all 500 leads, 80% of them say no, hit voicemail, hang up on you. 20% of them say, or let's say 18% of them say they'll think about it. 1% actually buy because they're, they're going to buy. They're going to buy from anybody. You're in deep trouble. So the questions you need to ask yourself on a daily basis is, if I had $4,000, what could I invest in to free up more time? Who do I need to bring on to free up more energy and to do the stuff that I'm not technically good with? What is that? Do you get somebody to run ads for you? Do you set up a challenge? Do you set up a funnel, right? To becoming a warm prospect. Maybe you don't get so greedy and try to get 500 leads, but maybe you have a filtering process that, okay, you, you're going to spend $3,000 on ads, but now you've got a filtering process and you're okay with talking to 50 clients who are highly qualified. And that's, that costs $60 per client to talk to. And from that $60, right, you close one in two and it costs you $120 to make a $500 sale. And you've put a dollar in, you've made $5 out. You put $3,000 in, you make $15,000 out. So these are the things that you need to think about when you're growing your business because at the end of the day, the person that can control their state, the person that can stay most consistent, the person that can keep walking in spite of adversity, in spite of the lows, in spite of, you know, you can run out fast, you can run, sprint, but man, this game's a marathon and you might feel great because you're, you're winning or it looks like you're winning, but you're going to burn out. Today, my friends, the episode is you're either dying or you're growing. Make sure that you're always growing by focusing on the most two important things, and that is your time. Second thing is your energy. Remove people from your life who don't actually contribute or serve you in any way. Remove people from your life who judge you or actually talk crap about you or talk crap about others. And that sucks and drains your energy. You need to free up your energy. That is one of the most important assets inside of your life, and I can't tell you how important that is to you to grow your business. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be a dick. That doesn't mean you have to say goodbye to everyone and be a dick to everyone and take yourself. It means you become aware it means you become aware of who's actually draining your energy and you still be a great person and you let them know. So with that being said, your one task for today is find out where inside of your business now is your energy being zapped by Facebook ads, by things that actually don't mean anything. You can sit there all day, just like I did, two hours getting frustrated at Facebook ads, or you can go, right, I'm going to turn this off. Mm, I'm going to start again. Or you can go out and find the person who actually knows how to run Facebook ads. That is the question for you today. If you answer it, the next step is you need to remove these energy zappers. What are you going to do about it? Because it's one thing to know about it. It's another thing to do. And on the Online Trainers Podcast, we do. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget, send this to your accountability buddy. And um, I'll see you in the next podcast episode. All right. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes. And feel free to leave a review in that way. I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients, and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening. 